Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. So I'm gonna show you guys how I take my natural hair from this to this using Yaki Texture Tape-Ins from Eon Hair. It looks so freaking good, so let's get right into it. Okay, so for starters, I truly feel like the number one thing that is going to make your tape-ins last long look the best and be the most versatile that they can be is the preparation. When I first did my tapings, like maybe five or six months ago, I did not know what I was doing. I was winging it. I just watched a bunch of videos on YouTube and just kind of went from there. But as I've done my own tapings now for five months and I've reapplied them maybe like five times now, I know exactly what I'm doing. So I just kind of wanted to share my knowledge with you guys. The first thing that you want to do when you're applying your tapings is you want to make sure that your hair is clean, okay? So you want to wash your hair with some cleansing shampoo and conditioner um, you know something that's gonna clean your scalp get everything off and then you're gonna straighten your hair and then that's how I ended up here so when you're doing your parting you want to part out the crown of your head and you want to make sure that your part is diagonal back you see here how it looks higher at the top and lower at the back that's because I created a diagonal back section that will allow my tape-ins to, I don't know why I just had a brain fart, that will allow my tape-ins to sit in their most natural position and just be good when I put it in a ponytail. The first time that I did this, I did my parts straight across and I learned my lesson the hard way because I was only able to put my hair straight up in a ponytail. Like there was no putting it in a low ponytail or like a slick back ponytail. I couldn't do any of that because of the placement of my tapes. So I learned my lesson. So I'm here to show you guys everything that I learned. I'm so sad because I had clips of this install, but for some reason they just would not load on my computer. So the clip that's in the bottom left hand corner of your screen is from a previous video, but nonetheless, let's talk about it. So when you're applying your tape ends, you wanna apply them just a little bit further down from your scalp. What I was doing the first time that I did this is I put it right on top of my scalp and that's a no-no. So you wanna apply it like one fourth to one eighth inch away from your scalp. That way when you flip it up, there's no tension, it's not pulling, it's not tugging on your hair at all. So that's pretty much what I'm doing and I'm just gonna do that all the way up. If you guys want a more detailed video, I will link this video in the cards so that way you guys can go watch that. This is my first time ever doing tape-ins and it's extremely detailed. I absolutely love it. But y'all, look at how my hair blends in with this Yaki Texture Tape. Like I'm freaking, I'm so obsessed. My hair blends in so perfectly. I was so scared to try like a Yaki Texture Tape in because I'm like, my hair isn't Yaki Texture. Like it's not gonna blend well, it's not gonna work. But now that I've tried this tape in, um, the Yaki Texture from Aeon Hair, I think that that is probably the only hair texture that I want to use now because it blends so perfectly, like even just like on a wash and go or like a blow dry or something like that. I don't have to straighten my hair because it matches perfectly. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys watch as I just finish up the top of my head. And this is pretty much all that I did. You just wanna place it down, flip it up, sandwich it, and move on to the next piece of tape. And I literally loved this hair so much. It just, it was just perfect. Like I was so worried for no reason, girl, like for no reason. So if you have the same hair texture as me, like 4C, y'all say I don't got 4C hair, but I know my hair, okay? If y'all have like 4C hair texture, I highly recommend trying out Aeon's Yaki Texture. They're straight um, tape and extensions because girl, okay they blend it to perfection another thing that i've learned when doing my tape-ins is this is about where i stop applying tape-ins because i think i did one more row but if you go up too high when you're wearing your hair down you're not going to have enough hair to cover your tapes and you're going to be able to see them and i've done that so many times where i had to like go in and take out those pieces of tape and do all the extra work so right when i get to about the crown of my head is when i stop applying tape and i just let my natural hair be because i add layers and everything it works out perfectly fine oh my god look at this glitch i guess oh my god y'all this hair ate honey like it freaking ate and this is just so good so once i do a complete row then i go in and straighten it i only did one pass because i really liked the texture of this hair and it just blended with my natural hair so perfectly i really thought that it just wasn't gonna work out. I'm like, this is not gonna work. I don't know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. The hair texture is not it, but it blended in perfectly and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just straighten it and then we're going to get into cutting it. I know you guys have been asking me, y'all been blowing me up asking me how do I layer my tape ins? So that's what I'm about to show you guys right here. This is after I finished everything. And as you can see, it looks cute, but it just looks like meh. 
you know like it just looks kind of like flat like it don't really look like nothing and I feel like when you wear tapins you have to add layers because that's what's gonna give it like body and volume and just make it look like something you know what I mean like I can't stand just no straight hairstyle unless I'm going for like a bust down middle part that's different but for the most part you gotta add layers you gotta add a little bit of curls or something to make it just pop y'all I almost forgot that this wasn't my real hair like it looks so good like oh my god it looks so good so before we get into cutting it and doing all of that I'm just gonna let you guys see what it looks like when I put it in a ponytail Eon hair did send me 24 inch bundles and I believe I used 60 pieces of tape um so yeah they sent me 24 inches and i used 60 pieces of tape which is really really good um it was still super full but it didn't feel like a lot of hair on my head so yeah i'm just going to put it in a ponytail and let you guys see what it looks like i think the thing that i love the most about tapings is i just love that it's so versatile but the thing that I hate about tapins is, I think a lot of people don't talk about it, but when you wear tapins, you almost have to put heat on your hair every single day or every other day. There's like no way around it. Like if you want to get it sleek and you want it to look right and look the way that it's supposed to look, girl, I put heat on my hair almost every single day and my hair is heat damaged and I don't care. Okay, like it is what it is. Like. I like it. I feel like your hair grow back. If I want, I can just cut it off and it'll grow back. It's really not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, keep that in mind. Wearing tapins is pretty damaging on your hair. Unless you're doing like curly tapes or whatever to match your natural hair texture, then you're fine. But I loved this hair. I just, I feel like the ends were like a little straggly. I don't even know if that's the word. The ends were a little thin. So I did have to cut it. I know y'all gonna kill me. Y'all hate that I always cut my hair, but I just had to do it, okay? I had to. So let's, let me show y'all exactly what I did. Okay, so right here, what I'm doing basically is I'm gonna look at the ends and you see what I mean? Like it's just really straggly, it's super thin. So I'm like, okay, I know I need to cut it. So this is my natural hair right here. I'm taking out my hair, I'm shaking the hair to see where my natural hair sits because the last thing I wanna do is cut too high and cut my real hair. So I'm just saying like, okay, how long do my layers need to be? Where can I cut and all of that stuff, right? So you're gonna start by parting right behind your ear, going straight down right behind your ear and you're gonna pull all of your hair to the front and you're gonna cut. Basically, this is gonna add like face framing layers and that's basically what I was going for. I didn't necessarily want it to be like super layered or anything like that and it couldn't really be super layered because my hair, my natural hair is so long. So basically, I'm just gonna go in with my scissors and just cut at a diagonal down um, slanted angle. You wanna do this because if you just go cut straight across, girl, it's just gonna be straight across. So you just wanna do that. I actually changed over to a straight razor and I cut myself so freaking bad, okay? So y'all gonna see my hand bleeding, but mind your business, y'all not here for that, right? So I'm just going in and I'm just layering and cutting. And as you can see, it's just giving me like a super cute, super soft like face framing and that's what I want. I just feel like face framing just makes it look so much better and looks so much more natural. So once I've done that first section, I'm gonna pull the second half all the way to the front and I'm gonna continue right down um, from that first section. So the first section is gonna act like a guide and this is something, I wanted to do it as simple as I possibly can so that way everybody can do this because I had a hard time layering my own hair and I'm a licensed professional. So I know for a lot of you guys that are watching my video that is not licensed, that have never been to cosmetology school, you just wanna learn how to do your own hair to save a coin, honey. This is a video for you because I wanted to make it very simple and easy. So again, just pull that section to the front and you're gonna cut. And you see how it just looks more layered? <gasps> I love it. So simple, so easy, and it's just amazing. But be very careful because I have cut my hair before. So now you're gonna take that first section and you're gonna pull it to where the hair is coming straight out of your scalp and you're gonna do the same thing. You're basically layering it in different directions to give you the kind of look that you're going for. This is considered holding my hair at a 90 degree angle from the scalp and you just wanna kinda just go up. Make sure you're taking sections from the previous section that you cut, that way you kinda have a guide. Um, but for the most part, that's it. Here go my husband, all in my business, telling me he's going to the gym, bye, he see I'm working. So yeah, we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna curl it. 
If you're still watching, make sure you subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys are watching my videos and not subscribing, and I know it's so easy to forget. So I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel. I just hit 30K a couple weeks ago, and I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for that. But yeah, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, because I know y'all be forgetting. Okay, so now we're gonna get into curling the hair. Curling the hair is what's really gonna show you all your layers and all of that stuff. I did my hair basically like round layers. Um, so my haircut is round, like if I lay my hair straight down and you just look at the back of my head, it's round, but I have layers as well. So I recently bought a Dyson and I absolutely love it. Comment down below and let me know if you guys want a review on the Dyson. I bought the blow dryer as well, I've been obsessed. I only use my Dyson on my natural hair, like when I'm doing tape-ins and stuff like that or straightening my hair. That's the only time I use it because I just feel like I did not spend a thousand dollars on this equipment to use it on like a wig, you know what I mean? Like I just, mm -mm, I ain't like that. So I'm just gonna straighten my hair and you guys are gonna see the layers come to life and it's just gonna give body and volume. But yeah, thank you so much to Aeon Hair for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. We love a sponsor, okay? We love keeping these lights on, keeping these bills paid, honey. So I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this video and then I'll show you guys the finished result. Okay y'all, so here is the finished result. After I went in and curled my hair, I'm just gonna go in and pull all my curls apart. You can leave your curls however you wanna do them. You can do them however you want, but I just feel like you get the best look when you pull your curls apart. And it just looks so natural and so pretty. So here I am just pulling the curls apart. And as you can see, tape ends wear, honey. This looks like my natural freaking hair. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me this is not my hair. I love it so much. The color match is perfect. Like the texture is perfect. It looks like my natural hair and I'm obsessed with that. So shout out to Aeon Hair for that because they really did that, okay? The girls with 4C hair need to jump on this. So yeah, once I have did all of that, I'm just gonna go and apply a little bit of um, what is this cheese silk infusion oil and you want to start at the bottom of your hair because if you have too much oil on your hands the last thing you want is for the top of your hair to be oily the back can pretty much be oily because it's kind of the driest anyway so it's just gonna eat that oil up okay all right you guys here is the final look I'm so obsessed with it I know y'all are gonna kill me because I cut the hair but listen okay the 24 inches was cute, but I just feel like it was just too much hair and it wasn't as full at the bottom, so I had to cut it. But I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like it blends perfectly with my natural hair texture, like perfectly. At first I thought the yappy texture was gonna be like too, what's the word? I thought it was gonna be like too coarse for my hair, but no, it's perfect. It blends in perfectly, I'm obsessed. Let me show you guys in the back because I'm literally just like living for this hair. Like it looks so good. It blends so perfect with my natural hair texture. Like I'm obsessed. I can put it in a ponytail if I want. Like, and it's just like perfect, 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 perfect. I love it. I love, love, love. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, let me fix my hair. If you made it all the way to the end and you have not hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you later. Bye.